Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, we're back today with another Dragon Star series figure. This time we've got the Battle Damage Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, last time we did the Bardock action figure. And I love this one, so this video is on the channel. If anyone hasn't seen it and would like to see the review, uh, we'll put him off to the side and we'll jump into Super Saiyan Goku. And then our next one, we have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So just kind of going through um, father and son, father and son between Bardock Goku and Gohan. We've got a Super Saiyan 3 Goku on the way as well. That one should be here in the next couple days and I'll have that video up um, as soon as the figure comes in. Just real quick before we open the box, let me set that light down. We've got Goku here on the side. On the back we have just kind of the figure um, staged, ready for display. And then we've got the figure here in the front with two extra hands. So let's go ahead and get him out of the package. And then we'll see how this one is compared to the others. All right, try to be as careful with the box as possible. And we will get the figure right out. All right, so right off the bat, I love the orange background they have here behind them. Each one of these boxes has a different color. I think this one just suits the figure really well. So what I may end up doing is just putting him back into this um, case as a display for now. And then when I find a good place um, to put him out, I'll pull him out. But this just looks so cool. Let me go ahead and hold it up to the camera. I'm almost going to see the lightning, the electricity behind him. So let's go ahead and get the figure out. Focus that in. So there's his face. Looks so good, just like all the other figures that we've opened from the Dragon Star series. The eyes are absolutely perfect on this. I love the hair, the details, all the lines they have. Such a great job. Of course, all the details on the muscles. He's got these shoulder joints here, just like I believe the Bardock one did the same thing where the shoulder rotates all the way around, comes in and out. He bends at the elbow, his wrists rotate. You can pop the arms down. They don't go all the way in this side because of the ball joint. And of course, um, he's a muscular character, so his arm's not gonna come all the way down against his body, um, but you can still bring him close enough to kind of set the figure up any way you'd like. He comes with just the two extra hands. Let me go ahead and show those. So really good for posing. Might leave these on for the video, but then when I take the photo of the figure for kind of like the thumbnail for the picture, I might put those other hands on and do a specific pose with him. But real quick, his head turns side to side and he nods down, doesn't go all the way up. or doesn't go back, but he does nod forward. So twists here at the waist, the leg comes up, goes out. Same thing with this one. You can see kind of the tears in his pants. Since this is Battle Damage Goku, we can see his shirt that's ripped over here, the orange one and the blue one. He bends at the knee a little bit. And then down here it is where the boot is around his ankle. This does rotate and it also moves up and down. Same thing on both, we've got another tear here. And on the back of the figure, the hair looks so good. Unbelievable detail on that, great color. You can see the lines in his back, the muscles. And then you can see some of the tear in the rip here from the side, and then also the shirt on the back. It's an awesome looking figure. If anyone is a fan of Goku, this just reminds me of when Goku fought Frieza. Um, only thing missing, and I always say this in the battle damage figures, is that there's no, no like blood mark, no scratch mark, nothing like that. I get why they wouldn't put that on the figure. This looks a lot cleaner and a lot nicer, um, but really it's just battle damage Goku and he's got couple ribs. Looks like he basically just ate a sensu bean and he's completely healed, uh, but he's got all the, his clothes basically show the damage, but his body doesn't. So no huge deal, but it would be nice to get some of these um, sometimes where they would have like the bruising or the blood, like a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan um, with the bruising and the blood, kind of what he looked like toward the end of his fight with Cell. I think it'd be a really cool figure. And then this one, we all know Goku was bloodied up when he was fighting Frieza. It'd be neat to have a figure 
like this with some of those extra details added in. So not a huge deal, just kind of a personal preference. But this looks so good for this play, I can't. I don't even know if I can actually put this guy back in the box. I might just have to put him out on the shelves. Let me go ahead and set the figure down. We'll bring the camera down and see what he looks like from the front and from the back once we stand him up. And then we'll wrap up here in just a minute. Let me set that off to the side. And I'm gonna measure the figure too. I've got the little measuring tape here. I think I forgot to do that on the Bardock, so I went back in and put the measurement in the comment section. But let's go ahead and bring this camera down so we can see Goku up close. This might be my favorite figure just in terms of detail and the face. This might be the best face I've seen on any of the figures. It's right up there with the first form Frieza from the Dragon Star series. And there's his hair from the back. Absolutely beautiful figure. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop on those other hands and get the thumbnail here in just a minute. And then before we wrap this up, here is our next figure. We will have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Very similar to this, comes with two additional hands. This one is not battle damaged, uh, but the first Super Saiyan 2 Gohan that I've ever owned, so really excited for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the Goku video. If there are any other figures you'd like to see, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, I do appreciate the feedback. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.